Hello YouTube, this is Richard, founder of ShortTermRentalSecrets.com and Airbnb Superhost. Welcome back to this week's Airbnb review listing. As always, we do it in the following order. We talk about the title, the photos and the order of those photos, the thumbnail choice, is that the right selection to get the most eyeballs and conversions, and then also the description or the copy, how you market the property, and then finally we're going to review what other people say about it in the review section. So, let's dive in. Okay, so the first item on our agenda is the title. The title here says Daytona Beach Shores Beach Bungalow, which I think is really nice. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what a bungalow means, but I think it's probably indigenous to the region, and um, it tells me the location, so that's good. Now, before we went live, I went ahead and just took a look at this, and I saw something that uh, caught my attention, that this is really, really close to the beach. It's like less than two blocks to the beach, and like young kids could walk to the beach, um, and that's missing from the title. Uh, it doesn't say that it's close to the beach, it just says it's you know, a beach bungalow. And so I would encourage Paula and Mark to incorporate the fact that it's so close, walking distance to the shore's beach uh, into the title. I think you'll get a lot more eyeballs and likely a lot more conversions. Now we're going to turn to the photos in the order. As always, I'm going to go ahead and preview them all. So let's do that. I took a look at the photos and I think that overall they're pretty good. There's some room for improvement as always and so let's get right into it. I like this photo a lot. I love the purple flowers. Um, so I think that this is an interesting one. This potted plant back here looks like it's either dead or neglected. Um, maybe you could, uh, I don't know, fix that for the photo if you felt so inclined. Um, this room, I think the, f the bright light coming from the outside is a little overexposed. Uh, it does add to you know the, the vibrancy of the room, but I think it's a little too bright. And also, uh, the rest of the room looks a little bit uh, gray or drab. Maybe you could put a coffee table with some flowers or something. Over here I see coasters, maybe put a glass of wine or something. Again, we're trying to make it more beachy and vibey, and I think you do a good job of that in some of the other photos, and we'll get to those. But this room doesn't seem to have that same sort of beach vibe, feel, color, upbeat sort of stuff. And so that's a room uh, where you can improve quite a bit, especially since it's your second shot. Uh, again, this room, again, just looks a little bit thin or spartan. It doesn't look that exciting. It doesn't look like there's that much to do. I think maybe you're missing a corner table here with a lamp, maybe a, a rug on the floor. Um, just really minor stuff, but I think it could be improved and look more inviting. So let's try and work on that. Um, here's the same photo which just shows the you know a closet door basically so I'm not sure this adds a ton of value and the description doesn't add a lot of value either so uh, I'm not sure that this photo really is necessary although I do like the octopus and that you know adds some of that beach vibe this photo I think is really nice actually the wall color is sort of blue there's some shells there's a fish I like the staging uh, I might actually set the table a little bit more if you wanted to reshoot it you know put like silverware down and wine glasses or you know coffee mugs or whatever but overall I think this is a, a superior photo to the ones that we've seen before insofar as it's beachy it's bright it's a nice blue it's got shells um, so I like this photo a lot and you, and you took the time to stage it although I think you could take it one step further reshoot the photo and in five minutes have an even better photo this photo um, is just out of focus and uh, in today's 2017 sort of Airbnb superhost five-star status um, it's out of place like it just doesn't work there's really no excuse for anybody having any photos that are not high resolution or out of focus and I understand that it's being nitpicky um, but you're being compared to other people that aren't going to have uh, out of focus photos also it seems like this um, I can't really tell because it is out of focus but it seems like this uh, cabinet door is open and blocking something so if you were going to reshoot it I would probably close that again I would add some sort of an interesting thing here a potted plant an orchid I'm not sure that this um, uh, towel here adds a lot of value and it kind of distracts what does catch my eye and I'd be interested in seeing is a little bit more of this like Eden kitchen sort of area so there you go this is what I wanted to see and again I've got the fish and that looks really nice Maybe you could take one shot that's in focus that incorporates this little Eden nook uh, and the rest of the kitchen. I think that that would be good. And again, I don't think this towel adds too much value. 
it sort of looks like it's out of place and takes up a fair amount of space. Here's a bedroom. I think this looks um, really nice, uh, clean. Um, I don't have too much to say. Again, I think that this is fine. It looks comfortable, it looks clean, it looks inviting. I can see it's nice and bright. Uh, I don't see any sort of air conditioner or anything like that. Um, it's a queen bed. So this room is okay. Uh, this is a nice shot, again, with the starfish, just incorporating all of what uh, you're there at the beach for. I can't tell what this is. You might want to put it in the description. Is that just a really small television, or is that something else? If it is a really small television, um, I wonder if it's perhaps too small to actually see it. And I don't know if you want to invest more money or not, but you can get a 32-inch or whatever would fit in this space here really, really inexpensively and wall mount it, and it would just look better and probably be more usable for people to stream Netflix or um, something like that and come home after a full day at the beach, they're tired, they want to just relax and watch something. This television, to me, looks a little bit, um, you know, less than ideal. Uh, this room is really nice. I actually really like the colors. I love the lamp with the shells. I love the fish. Um, this looks probably more inviting to me and more beachy than even the master bedroom. Um, so if you could try and replicate some of this look and feel in the master and then reshoot it, I think that that would be more inviting. Um, this doesn't add too much value to me at all, but no reason to take it away. I guess you're just trying to highlight that it's got a dresser and it's bright, but I'm not sure that this photo adds a lot of value. Recognize that a lot of photos are really important so people can see what it is that they're talking about, but that doesn't mean you want to jam photos in that don't add a lot of value because people get tired and they bounce. You don't want people to get tired or bounce. You want to keep them engaged, looking at a dresser with a flamingo. You know, this is where I start to think about bouncing. Here's a bathroom, looks fine, uh, nice and clean. I like that the toilet seat is down. Uh, relax, soothe, nice blues. This is a fine shot given what it is that you're photographing, so I don't see much of a room for improvement there. Maybe a little candle or a little potted plant or something, again, just to bring some additional life and color to the bathroom. Now here's a beautiful shot of beautiful traffic-free beach. This is gorgeous. This should be earlier when we talk about the order of events. Paint the picture. I may have never gotten to see this photo. Um, I would put this maybe second or third and just pepper it in there. Get people excited. Keep them realizing you know, why they're on your listing. This is an unbelievable shot. I love this access to the beach. I like the sun. Again, I would put some of these earlier. Don't, don't make a whole string of them. Don't have like your title shot, and then your bedroom shot, or your living room shot in your case, and then five or six photos of the beach, but maybe one or two photos of your property, one photo of the beach, one or two photos of your property, the next photo of the beach. Again, keep people engaged, drip it out to them. This is fine, I don't think it's quite as exciting as the other ones, but you're trying to show its proximity. This one is fine, again, it's not my favorite, I like the other ones more, but if you wanna have more photos, it's fine. Um, again, I like this. This is, you know, paints a nice picture. What I particularly like about this more than anything is that you say exactly where it is. It's the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse and it's four miles south. The more of that that you can do, uh, the better. And in fact, let's go back for a second here. On um, this here, where you show the welcome to the Daytona Beach Shores, you've neglected a, a really good opportunity to say two blocks, a hundred seconds, less than one minute a short walk, a short bike ride. I don't know where you're located. This doesn't help me either, and um, that's a missed opportunity. So I would improve that, and I think you'll see people respond to it. Racing's North Turn, dining on the beach is two miles south. I assume that that's important and a destination. Uh, it's a beautiful shot, and again, I love the fact that you indicate where it is located. Um, Boondocks, half a mile south, this is great. My only concern with this, again, is that it's uh, pixelated, which means it's not the highest resolution photo. Um, you know, I'm being nitpicky, but I think that that's the kind of thing that can be improved easily. Next time you're at Boondocks, just snap another photo with your high resolution camera. Almost all cameras will take better quality photos than this. Uh, Boondocks restaurant at night, again, it's sort of um, out of focus. And then we're back to your title shot. So. Overall, I think that the photos are really good. There's rooms that I like more than others. There's really minor improvements that you can make to some of them. And then overall, I would just make sure that your photos are not blurry. They're all you know, um, in focus and high resolution. And then add some of the descriptions 
where we're located and what it is that we're doing there. Okay, now onto the thumbnail selection. I do think this is probably the best thumbnail as it relates to your bungalow. Uh, it's really nice and inviting and I love the colors and the trees and it looks like it's nice and private. I particularly like this little sign here, it catches my eyes. But I would like to make uh, a suggestion where you A-B test. And what I mean by that is try running your, um, your Airbnb listing using this photo as you have been doing. Take a look at your statistics in terms of the number of people that view and the number of clicks and then your conversion rate having used this in the past. And try perhaps using a photo of the beach area and you can try either one of these two. Um, I thought they were both, both good photos. This is my personal selection, but try this one and try this one and just see if the people that are looking at the thumbnails as they scroll through your listing and everyone else's listing, if they're drawn to the actual photos of the beach or this walkway more and it gets you more clickings and or even more reviews, especially if you were to increase uh, the description on these titles down here, talking about three minute walk, one block walk, you know, short bicycle ride, we provide bicycles, whatever it is. But I think that um, it's a worthwhile test. So I love the one that you've selected. I think it's the best one of your bungalow, but I think perhaps um, time will tell whether one of these other two actually perform better. And if you have any comments or thoughts about that, you or anybody that's watching this, please go ahead and leave them below because we're all just trying to learn from one another. Okay, let's turn now to the description. And um, as I read it, a couple thoughts come to mind. It, it's interesting here that you say this charming beach bungalow is half a block away from the traffic-free section of the beach. And somehow I didn't see it. I'm encouraging you to put that into the title. Um, you want to talk about how close it is because that's really why people are staying here. In fact, we're going to film another video about uh, location and just how important location is. Not so much in, in um, where you buy a place, which obviously matters, but in the fact that I think there's a huge opportunity, a missed opportunity for most hosts to highlight and specify and bring people to your location uh, through marketing. And so I think in this particular case, as I mentioned earlier, putting this in the title would be better. I also think that the uh, description is rather short, which can be good and bad. Um, I think in this particular case, there's more information than you should share. I think uh, perhaps Paul and Mark, you guys should sit down, open a bottle of wine, and just maybe record like why you bought this bungalow, what brought you here, what you guys do in the community. Uh, you try and highlight it a little bit. It's walking distance to restaurants, beach activities. Be more specific, what activities, what restaurants. You talk about the Space Coast and the theme parks, which theme parks, bring it out. Somebody may not know what theme parks are there. And so while it's general and helpful, don't assume people know. Um, I would also suggest that you uh, talk a little bit more about it was completely remodeled. Um, that's very vague and doesn't really add a lot of value. So I would say something like this newly renovated Charming Beach bungalow is only half a block away from the traffic free section. In 2012, we remodeled, which included boom, 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 whatever it is. And uh, my family and I, we use it. We bought this place because we love going to XYZ restaurant and we do things on the beach, including surf, paddleboard, I don't know, whatever it is that you do. Um, for a rainy day, we love going to the Space Coast, whatever it is, but like tell a story. Don't just list the facts. Bring it to life, tell people why you bought the place, what you do there, what other guests do there, why people come to the area, what you do in the winter, what you do in the summer. Um, is it heated? Is it available for year round? You know, things like that. Um, and similarly, this is very uh, Spartan as well. Bedroom has a queen size bed. Uh, what we're seeing now is a, a lot more elaboration. The master bedroom has a queen size bed. It has privacy away from the kids, which is important for couples. Um, or this place is great for two couples, it's great for business. Try and be a little bit more specific about you know, what this is for. Uh, you've done a really good job of just detailing the facts, but it's not really painting much of a picture. It's not asking me to come and stay. It's not telling me you know, why I would choose your place any versus any other. It's just the facts. And realize this is a marketing exercise. Um, so you get to tell your story, and it's only your story. So whatever you include, or more specifically, whatever you exclude, nobody's going to know. Um, I think that the thing that I find a little bit odd, and I'm not sure how you monitor it, is that this washer and dryer are only available for guests staying more than five nights. Um, I'm not sure why that's important, um, meaning like why don't you allow somebody who is staying there for a long weekend and has, uh, you know, 
wet bathing suits and towels and things that they want to wash, like why don't you allow that? Um, it seems a little off-putting, to be honest. So if it's a real big deal, then I guess the rules are your, the rules, the house is your house. But if I were staying here for two or three nights and I read that, that would just sort of like leave a bad taste in my mouth. Even if I wasn't going to do it, it was just kind of like, I, I don't know. I'll, how about I stay at a bungalow that has a washer and dryer that I can dry little Ricky's you know, bathing suit so that the next day he's not um, complaining about a wet bathing suit. Uh, you've heard me say this before. I am just not a fan of this monthly discount of 60%. You're basically giving it away. Uh, basically, all you're saying is that you would rent this place out for your prime month, whatever month that is, for 14-day occupancy. And my bet is if you do better photos, better description, a little bit better in the marketing, you'll be sold out. Instead of 14 days of occupancy, I bet you get 18, 20, 25, maybe even 30 at full ask. So I don't see any reason to give away 60%. Strict cancellation, everything else is included. One of the things that I think uh, we could all do better about is talk about the wireless internet, the speed of the wireless internet. You've heard me say this before, maybe even take a screenshot, go to speedtest.net on your telephone um, and just take a screenshot of the upload speed and the download speed, assuming that it's anything that's uh, reasonably fast, that adds value, and then write it in the description. What I'm doing right now via Verizon Files, just to put in perspective, I did it the test yesterday, it's 150 down and 160 up. So for me to not highlight that in my listing is insane because somebody who's really using the internet or streaming videos or whatever, that adds a lot of value. They're not going to get annoyed, frustrated with a constant pausing. All right, so let's go ahead and turn to the final thing here, which is the reviews. And I love this. 28 reviews, five stars. That means you're a great host. People love what it is that you're doing. Um, and that's tremendous. And so the, the commentary that I have here is really just to take you to that next level um, so that you get more bookings, more conversions, more money in your pocket. It's not to suggest that you're not doing anything uh, improper. In fact, the tape speaks for itself. 28 five-star reviews, you know exactly what it is that you're doing as far as the hosting is concerned. Um, I think there's a little room for improvement in the marketing of your hosting, and I think that'll derive more conversions and therefore more money in your pocket. Paul and Mark's place was a delightful getaway and just a couple of minutes walk from the beach. That's great. I'm not sure if it's that quiet. There's no one at the beach. Uh, this is really nice. Um, I also note that you haven't taken the opportunity to reply to any of these reviews and you really uh, ought to. That's a missed marketing opportunity. Um, so go ahead and reply and again try and personalize it. This was a nice house for a family for to stay near the beach. Uh, less than two blocks. We love this quiet stretch. Again, I think um, you need to highlight the, uh, the location even more. Excellent location, great place close to the beach. Beach getaway, couple minute walk. Charming, perfect for six. We love the bedding. Um, the house is very clean and cozy. Let's see here. Couldn't have been more pleased. Fantastic place, awesome house. I love the location. The house was so clean. Paula was wonderful. Um, we're 10 minute drive from Daytona and a two minute. So everybody keeps saying the same sort of thing. You guys are great hosts. It's very nice and clean. The location is amazing. And um, I would just suggest that, uh, that you highlight that more, right? I think it's great that other people are highlighting it. I think it's an opportunity for you to highlight it. And um, I would encourage it. But clearly you're doing it really well. And uh, I love the fact that uh, you're having success with it. I hope that this encourages you to take a few minutes of your time and uh, improve just some of the photos and some of the listing and the description and really market your property because I think you're onto something here that could be great. And um, if you all watching this have comments or feedback, please go ahead and leave it in the comments below because again, we're a team and a community and the more that we share, the more that we learn in the continual learning space and um, if you want your place reviewed, go ahead and leave a request for that also. And until then, happy hosting. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do and like and share the video. Have a great day.